Hey guys, Pomparasi here talking ball cards. Uh, uh, it's been about a week since I posted a video. Wanted to uh, do a recap of some uh, recent pickups. Um, a lot of this is going to be a combination of uh, combination of eBay and then local card store pickups. I'll walk through the cards and you know kind of what I got planned for them. And then at the end, I'll uh, bring us home with a couple TTMs that came through the mail. A um, couple TTM autos. So first card up here. Um, Card I've been after for a while, 1960 Tops Hank Aaron. Um, relatively nice card, nice surface. Um, so definitely something that'll be a slab candidate at some point here. Um, I do like collecting Hammer and Hank. Oh, that card, that's a card that's not supposed to be in the stack. Got a, uh, let's see here. So I, I've already sent uh, sent a Lupinella card to get autographed, but um, that, those were on his, uh, his 69 card. This is his 68, so I think I might uh, send this to him off in Florida as well. As you guys know, I've been doing a lot of TTM. Um, 1960 uh, batting leaders. So you got uh, Willie Mays and Clemente on here. Nice card. I like these... Uh, I like these multiplayer star cards and these leaders cards. These are cool. Um, let's see here. Picked up a couple uh, 1951 Bowman, early win. Um, I already have his uh, his rookie card and a bunch of his cards graded. So this one's probably going to get submitted, even though um, obviously the back isn't fantastic with the wax. Um, that would cap the grade out of five, and there's no way it would even get to a five with the corners it has. I would expect like a three out of that guy. Um, Hank Sauer, another 51 Bowman. Uh, nicer corners on this one. Um, maybe this could do a PSA five. Sorry about all the glare, uh, like usual. Hank Sauer. Sore. Um, this is a this is a card I picked up. I'm working on the 1955. Um, 1955 Bowman Hall of Fame set. And uh, the guy at my local card store, he thought this card was trimmed. Um, of course, it's the Banks, Ernie Banks. I do not have this card. Um, it's considered one of their uh, their high numbers at 242. It's not a very big set. Um, and so I've, I've picked up some 55 Bowmans from this guy before. And um, I picked up a Hank Aaron, and that one I sent into PSA, and they found that it was just miscut. Um, so some of the issues with the 55 uh, Bowman issue is they will they'll cut um, they'll cut the card short, and PSA will still grade it. Um, they'll just give it the denotation or the what do you call it the uh, the MC or the miscut qualifier. Um, I think this has a chance at a four, so I'm hoping it's not trimmed, and I'm hoping it's just miscut by the factory, and hopefully um, eligible for a grade. I definitely do not know how to assess uh, corn, <laughs> assess edges properly um, to determine if they were, you know, factory or yeah, trimmed by some guy in his garage or whatever. Um, carry on, Johnson. I got some football sprinkled in here. Carry on, Johnson. Uh, one of his uh, one of his rookie autos. He just got hurt, and he's on the IR, which is kind of a bummer. Um, let's see. I have a lot of Greg Morris pickups here. I'll go ahead and sort them so they're all in one stack. Da, 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 da. Yeah, most of these are Greg Morris. So, Raleigh Fingers, 71 tops. Um, pretty rough. I think I paid a dollar for that. Uh, Roger Clemens. Uh, this is his... Is this the Leaf one? No. This is Don Russ. Pretty clean. Um, centering isn't perfect, but still a pretty nice example of one of uh, Rogers' rookies. Speaking of rookies, Don Mattingly. This is his Don Russ rookie. Uh, the card has some toning on the back. Um, you could see it along these corners here. I don't know. It could be staining, but it's pretty consistent throughout. So. Well, it looks like what I'd call toning on like a vintage card. Let me know what you guys think, but it's really sharp, decently centered, pretty nice. Um, here's another rookie I don't, I, I've never had, the Carlton Fisk. Obviously off center, left to right. Um, still a Hall of Fame rookie, so could be worthy of a PSA submission and you know 
Hall of Fame rookies, you can't just, you really just can't go wrong getting those slab, in my opinion. Uh, Tom Seaver, I think this is his, this is a fourth year card for him. 71 tops. Here's Tony Gwynn, rookie. Uh, this is his Fleer issue. Really sharp. Um, certainly centered pretty well as well. I do not have this. At least I don't think I have this one at all anywhere in my collection. Here's kind of a cool card. Um, I have this this Fleer card. What year is it? Is it 87? No. Er, yes. It's 87. And um, this is a Fleer update. This is the McGuire Rookie. One cool thing. I had this card, but this one, if you take a close look at it, it's the Fleer Glossy release. Um, I definitely do not have the Glossy release. Um, so <laughs> this is a cooler card. Um, really sharp. Definitely think it's has potential at an eight or a nine. Let me know what you guys think. Sorry about that. I'm gonna squeeze this back into its card holder here. Okay. Harold Baines, uh, recently inducted into the Hall of Fame, I think like a year or two back. This is one of his uh, rookies as well. I already have a couple of those, but I might send that off to SGC. Um, I kind of like having, a, if I have a duplicate, duplicates of a card, go ahead and send them off to, you know, uh, have one in an SGC and one in a PSA holder. Nolan Ryan, this is 81. Uh, back's pretty clean. Ooh, it's off a little bit left to right. But can't go wrong collecting sharp uh, Nolan Ryan cards, in my opinion. There's another 81, um, Pete Rose. There's another Pete Rose. Uh, this is a Fleer. Uh, what year is this? 82 Fleer. I grabbed it because it's pretty sharp. Uh, a lot of these cards are really cheap. A couple of bucks here, a couple of bucks there. Um, 71 Willie McCovey. I just sent one of these off to PSA, so this one might make its way to SGC. Um, this was not Greg Morris. This is a, uh, this is a random seller off of eBay. Um, I ended up kind of disappointed in this card. If you look closely, there's something I couldn't see. It's like the card almost has a hole punched in it. So not, you could see it coming through here on the back, so. If this were to be submitted, it'd be very low grade. Um, here's a Dak Prescott rookie. Um, I actually picked this up from Prestine Auction. Um, I used a promo code and was able to pick it up uh, $5 off. I think I picked it up for like 40 bucks. I'm not a Cowboys fan, but I like what Dak's been doing recently. Um, he's trying to get paid right now. Uh, another football card here. I like these uh, Panini Flawless. This is Greg Jennings. Um, 8 of 25 on card auto. It's not the greatest patch. I mean, it's just single color. But still really sharp. Nice card. 10 bucks. Um, this is for the uh, 55 Tops Hall of Fame set. Hall Newhouser. He's a pitcher. I, I had never even heard of him. Um, so PSA set registry for the 55 Tops here. That's the, I believe that's the white back variation. Um, these are picks, pickups from my local card store. The ones that have the, the price tag on them. Billy Herman, he's a Hall of Fame coach, and well, he's in the Hall of Fame. He was a player back in, I think, the uh, the 30s. Uh, he was a coach here in 55, so kind of cool. Um, don't have really high hopes for those two cards there. Uh, probably be like a PSA 3. Here's another one from my MVP sports, uh, sports cards here in Orange County. Jim Hunter, 71. Been collecting him quite a bit. Mazeroski? Mazeroski? Uh, 71. This one's a little, this one's pretty sharp. I thought it was pretty nice for a $3 card. Relatively, well, decently centered. Andre Dawson, this is his rookie cup, rookie cup card. Nice card. I don't have this. I think he does sign through the mail, so I might send this to him. Be going to get a signature on. Jack Morris, uh, this is his rookie. I, de I don't have this card in my collection. Another Hall of Fame rookie. Um, $3, why not? 
Uh, here's a cool one. Uh, Thurman Munson. This is actually, looks like the tops. This is OPG. You can tell by the back. The back just looks kind of wild. 79. Uh, another one here. Uh, George Brett. OPG. 79. You can tell by the back. Got a couple cool cards here. Um, I picked this up from the local card store. Um, this is a 55 Tops Willie Mays. It is a graded three MK, very good. So MK meaning mark, um, the mark qualifier. As you guys can see, the card's dead centered and I looked at it as closely as I could and I do not see a mark. You guys let me know if you see anything. I mean, I, I took a good long look at it you let me know if you guys see anything in here. I uh, think I'm gonna crack this. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm definitely gonna crack it. Um, I'm gonna, I'll resubmit it and see, I'll resubmit it as I do with most of my cards with the no qualifiers box checked and uh, see how it does. Um, this one's kind of cool. I picked this one up on eBay. Obviously, it is a very old PSA slab. Um, 61 tops Clemente, and it is graded an 8 OC off center. And I used my uh, my caliper, and I measured I measured these edges, and technically it fits within the 8 centering criteria for front. Um, razor sharp. Let's see if I get it to focus here. Razor sharp corners. Back is clean. Um, the back, the centering is not quite as nice. As you can see, this this edge is pretty small, or this, this border is pretty small compared to down here. Uh, but the back, when it comes to, um, you know, eights, the back only has to be 90-10. Uh, uh, and so th this meets the criteria as well. So I'm gonna submit this to PSA for a review. So I'm gonna leave it in the slab, and I'm gonna send it to him, and I'm gonna say, hey, um, looks like it meets the centering criteria to me. What's your guys' take on that? So, um, anyways, uh, let's see. 64 Gail Hodges. This is, not sure if this is his first management card. Beginning in his first full season, yeah, in 64. Gail Hodges. Uh, here's another eBay pickup. 1960 Tops Robin Roberts. Really sharp card. Decent centering. That'll make it into a submission sometime soon. Don Drysdale. Another sharp 1960 tops here. Early win. Uh, we saw one of his cards earlier. Not, not the best centered card, but uh, pretty sharp nonetheless. Whitey Ford. Um, again, centering issues. It's off top to bottom and left to right. But uh, a sharp card. I uh, got one more football here. Um, Marquise Hollywood Brown. Um, he's been doing great things on the Ravens this year. This is one of his rookie cards on card auto. Uh, picked this up in an auction. I think I got it for like 25 bucks. So decent deal. Um, okay, let's do some TTMs. This, um, I wanted to show this to you guys. Uh, my Bobby Richardson card came back and I opened it uh, when it wasn't on camera. So I just wanted to show you guys this. Got this uh, TTM back on a 61 tops. Nice signature and blue Sharpie there. Uh, let's see which, which one is this one. This one's coming from Minneapolis. This is an older card. It's been out a while. Um, I could tell because of my stamp. My stamp is pretty old. Um, so I could tell it's one of my earlier TTMs. Not sure what we got here. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, wow. I had almost written these off. Tony Oliva. Oh, oh, man. Let's see. Doesn't look like he signed them all. Left this card unsigned. Let's see here what we got. Signed this one. Nice black Sharpie. But he just signed the one. Well, I'm glad he signed it. Um, stoked on that. But he didn't sign the others. Um, God, I thought I sent him more than... How many cards did I send him? 
I thought I sent him more than three cards. Anyways, um, I'll call this a success. One out of three. Tony Oliva. Awesome. He signed the, uh, the 74 tops here. Nice, thin, black Sharpie. Okay, I had written those cards off, so it's cool to see him come back. Uh, let's see. Okay, this next one is from Tampa, Florida. This is a newer one, or one that I sent out more recently. I think this is Wade Boggs. So I'm going to take a guess. Wade Boggs. Yes, indeed. Wade Boggs comes through. Um, he does require a donation for his signatures. Let's see here. Nice. How many years is this junk wax? 92 tops. Bold blue Sharpie here. This is an 89 tops that I, uh, I opened out of a pack. Interesting signing position there. Um, and then uh, Carney Lansford and Boggs' uh, 89 Fleer card here. Pretty cool. Uh, I believe it's five bucks per card. If you guys are interested in getting any uh, signatures from Boggs or Tony Oliva, I'll go ahead and uh, paste uh, paste their information here and at the end of the video. Well, until next time, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, hopefully I get my PSA bulk submission back here shortly. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again. Talk to you guys soon. Paparazzi out of here.